Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Gofan Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give um, this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Um, this video is long, so today we're reacting to Faithful Arrogance. Hashim versus German Christians, old is gold. So without wasting time, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. And this is going to be in two parts. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Expressions from the Bible so well. I mean, how many times have you read it? Uh, I, or did you learn it by heart? No, I, I, didn't, I read some of it and then I practiced it and it became mm -hmm. memorized. So did you read the whole Bible and then um, memorize no, no, no. some parts? No. So you didn't read the whole Bible? I didn't re well, I read the Bible, mm -hmm. not all of it, I would say, but most of it. Okay, and then yes. you memorized some parts that you found most important? Yes, because yeah. there are many, many mm -hmm. parts in the Bible which point mm -hmm. to me very clearly as a Muslim mm -hmm. that Jesus is not claiming to be God, it's the other way around. He's claiming that he has a God. Very clearly, there are verses which are very explicit. For example, John 20, 17, he says, I go to my father and your father, my God and your God. A very clear, explicit verses. Unfortunately, I've come across many Christians who would leave aside the explicit verses yeah. and they would rather go yeah, for the implicit think, ones. Why? Why would you do that? No, it's not a human. A human being who's logical, who's sincere, will yeah. look at the explicit verses. But I don't think that God but is would logic. Would you say that human well, well, what human do you mean lo logic? God is logic? Are you saying understanding God is not logical? So why would God tell you to love him with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind? Why would he want you want you to believe him with all his, with all your mind? No. If, if if understanding him is not logical. I don't have to understand him. No, no, I, I don't mean to understand him fully, yeah. but in, in, in terms of what he has already told us. For yeah. example, God tells us that he's all knowing. Do you believe he's all knowing? Yes, I do. Do you believe Jesus is all knowing? Yes. Really? Did he know the last hour? Hmm? Did he know the last no, hour? He doesn't. There you go. So he's not all knowing. No, see, that's the th the difference between you and me because you think that um, I have to everything that was said and said by Jesus, especially because he's the most important figure of Christianity. Yeah, there's there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But I don't have to understand everything he said. Why? Why would you not want to understand what because Jesus said? I believe. I don't. Know. Okay, I'll tell you what. You know what? Earlier you said that you don't you don't agree with my interpretation. Yeah. Okay, I want you to interpret this for me. When Jesus says, I go to my God and your God, what yeah. do you understand? Do you believe Jesus has a God? Mm, no. No? So what does he mean? Was he telling lies when he says, I go to my I, God? If, yeah, I remember the passage correctly. He said that he would go to the Father. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, but not his God. No, he said my God in the same statement. Read it, John 20, 17. He says, I go to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Yeah. This is again, you see, you're, you're basically expressing surprise in passages which are very clear. John, what? John chapter 20, verse 17. 20 what? 20, 17, 1, 7. So 20, 17. Yeah, 2, 0, 1, 7. So. Yes, it says... I, I want you to interpret for me, based on that verse, what does he mean when he says, I go to my God and your God? No, he doesn't say to his God, but to his He haven't even read it yet. I did. He doesn't say my God there, in your no, version? He says, because I haven't returned to my Father in the heaven. Yes, read the next bit now. Go back to my brothers and say them, I'm going to my father and your father and my God and your God. Thank you very much. So you did say that, right? Now you interpret it for me now. What does it mean when he says my God? I have to look at the context. Of course, look at the context with all due means. See, the thing is, um, I think that Jesus can talk about him like his father and his God. and his okay, that's the, okay, let me ask at you the this. same time because he's at... He's um, God and man at the same time. Okay, let me ask you this. Does the Father have a God? He is God. No, that wasn't my question. Does the Father have a God? Yeah, that was my answer. He is God. Okay, if I asked you, is the Father God? That would be your answer. But now I'm asking you, does the Father have a God? Ask me the same question. Does the Father have No. Yeah, that's what you think. Now the next question. Does the Holy Spirit have a God? That's contradictory. No, it's not. In my book, it is. In your book, it says that the Holy Spirit takes commands from the Father, yeah, from God. That's totally okay. That's really? Fine. Can yeah. God be commanded by anyone? That's fine. Can God be commanded by anyone? Who commands God? Does that? Okay, let me rephrase there's that. No God, let me rephrase that question. No there is actually. That's the bit you're missing. There is clearly a rank. I don't think so. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you believe God is the ultimate authority? In 
respect. In authority, you know what authority means? Yes. Yes. So. Is God the ultimate authority? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Let a record, no problem. Do you believe there's authority higher than God? No. No. That is what the ultimate authority means. He is the highest authority. And there's no authority higher than him. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, next question. Is there an authority higher than Jesus Christ? Um, I don't know. There is. I know you just yeah, that's... <laughs> 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter yeah. 11, verse 3. It says, Jesus is saying, sorry, yeah, well, according to Paul, this is what he says. He says, um, the head of all men is Christ. The head of the woman is man, obviously in a marriage. Mm -hmm. And it says the head of Jesus Christ is God. You know what the head means? Yes? yes. Like Merkel is the head of Germany. Is that right? Is she still? Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. She's, uh, so yeah. So it's basically head means someone who is in charge, in basically the boss. Yeah. Yes, the president, whatever you want to call it. So if someone is, you already agreed that there's nobody higher in authority than God. Mm -hmm. But since there is someone higher in authority to Jesus Christ, then he cannot be God mm -hmm. by that logic. That's the essential part where I disagree. Which part do you disagree? The because Bible? Because that's from no, the Bible. No, no, no. This argumentation. That is the from the Bible. Sorry, the Bible says the head of Christ yeah, is God. No, no, do you disagree with that? No, no. But I disagree with you because... Which I part do you disagree? What you said. I said the head of Christ is God and that is a verse from the Bible so if you're disagreeing yes. with me you're disagreeing with the Bible no, no. do you realize that no, no. he said that it was illogical how <laughs> quoting the Bible verbatim is illogical how how is Paul wrong hmm? how is Paul wrong yeah no, he's not wrong but do you know when Paul wrote this um, after the ascension so he's no more human body yeah. but at least not the earthly body yeah. yes he's now ascended to the father yeah Yes, and now he is supposed to be with the father, right? Yeah. But even after that, Paul says, who is the head? Who is the head of Christ? <laughs> he didn't say the father. He said, God, the head of Christ is God. Yeah, that's okay. How is it okay? If Jesus is God, how many gods do you believe that's in? That's the point. That's exactly what I'm always trying to, to tell you. Okay, what is the point I'm missing? Go on, tell me. I don't see a... a there's no problem. God being the uh, uh, God being the Father. Can God have a God? No, but there's no, uh, yes, he can. He can God have a God? Seriously, how many gods do you believe in, by the way? No, honestly, think about it before you answer. How many gods do you believe in? No, I'm not asking. I'm answering that because I'm, I'm still not done with the. Uh, okay, fair enough. Thing. Go on. So, um, Jesus is talking about his, or Paul is talking about um, Jesus having a God, right? Yes. I think that's okay. But even, do you agree with that? Even if Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are the same. They are not the same because one is the God of the other. Yeah, but that's okay. Why that, is it okay? Is okay, I'll ask you again. How many gods do you believe in? I won't answer to that. I just made my last statement. Why would you not answer to that? It's a simple thing. No, no. This okay. is not what I'm Do you not believe in Deuteronomy 6? What's the first commandment? This is not what I'm the first about. commandment says here, O Israel, your, no, Lord, you go your Lord God no, is no, no, no. one, not three in one. You the fact that you're not answering me. such a simple question, I don't know, there must be some reason for that. Yes, the reason is because you want to make me agree. I'm not making you anything. I'm just asking questions. That's all. No, that's I'm not imposing any answers on you. Yes, you are. Yeah. Okay, how that's am I imposing on you? Tell because me. Because you are asking things of which I am absolutely convinced which is things like God as a God no you asked me about the first commandment the f okay what is the first commandment I don't know. you don't know the first commandment uh, the most I important commandment I don't have to <laughs> you know when Jesus was asked this yes. by a rabbi yes what is the most important commandment what was yeah, his response he no he didn't say love you see that's the problem they don't read the Bible I, did, I, did. I think you have been taught the Bible selectively and that's the reason you're surprised to see all these verses which Jesus are in the Bible. The, first, the, the, the most important commandment is to love your God and to love your neighbor. It, he, also, he said the most important commandment is here O Israel, your Lord God is one. And this is a repeat of the first commandment, the Shema in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy chapter 6 yeah, verse 4. That depends on your translation. Because that is exactly nowadays, word to word, my friend. It's not a translation. Yeah, because that's right. That's right. In English, no, if you, yeah, the Shema is basically 
it's uh, it's 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 a creed. Yeah, I know, yes? I know that. It's yes. Listen, Israel. And, uh, yes. There's only one God. Yeah. Um, there's only how many God? One God. Yeah. Yes. You believe in one God, right? Yes, I do. But I also believe that this God can be three at the same time. That's fine. You can believe that. But the question still remains: if the, if you believe only in one God, then how can God have a God? That will make it two gods, will no, it not? I don't understand that. Which part? You don't understand it either. Okay, which part do you not understand? Because I understand. Do you understand it? Yes. Or God can have a God. Actually, I don't say God have a God. You are the one who's saying that. Yeah. I'm saying God cannot have a God because there's only one God. And if there's only one God, then He cannot have a God. He's the ultimate authority. But if, I, if I were to say God has a God, that would be polytheism. No, not really. Yeah, really? I think it's okay because I don't have to understand God fully. You don't have to. I didn't ask you to understand God fully. Yeah, so God did not ask you to understand God fully. That's what this whole discussion is about. No, this discussion is about just to show you how many God is, whether it's one or three. You understand? The basics, the fundamentals, God has already told us in the Bible. Once again, you're ignoring the explicit verses, which tells you that God is one, and you want to believe God is three in one. Show me in the Bible where it says three in one. I don't need to. It doesn't say that. So why do you believe it? You said you're very convinced it, convinced about this three in one, mm -hmm. but that's not in the Bible. You're convinced about the things which are not in the Bible, but clearly not convinced about the things which are clearly I, in the Bible. I don't think um, that I'm qualified enough to talk about you with this. How, wait, wait, when you say qualified enough, do you think I have a degree in being a pastor or a minister of the no, church? No, but you said that, that you spend time reading the Bible. Yes, as and a I Christian. I spend time reading the Quran. So no, but, I, I'm, not but I'm not asking about the Quran. Yeah, but I would like to do too. Please do, but once you have studied it, then come and ask me. Yeah, only after. But, but yeah, but now we are not now. talking about the Quran, so it's, irre it's irrelevant. Yeah, now we are talking about the Bible. I'm expecting you as a Christian, yeah. have you read the Bible? And you said earlier, yes? Yes, I did. Yes, yeah. so what's the point then? Why, why would you say I'm not qualified to? If you have read the Bible, then you're qualified to talk about it. No, not necessarily, because I don't remember all the passages you're talking about. That's the reason I'm giving you the references. Yeah, and apparently, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I read most of them. Look, my friend, the reason I'm giving you the references yeah. is for you to check. You have checked the verse, the, the clear verse which says, I go to my God and your God. Yeah. Yes? You said I have misinterpreted. I asked you to interpret it for me and still you don't, you're unable to do that. What does it mean when Jesus himself says, I, I go to my God, yes, and your God? I don't know, but I don't need to know. And okay, if you, don't, if, you, if you think understanding the Bible is not important for you, then why would God give you the Bible? It's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that I believe that Jesus died for my sins and that I'm free to go. Okay. That's and, and where is that information from? There is information. The Bible. Exactly. So the Bible is important because all your information about, the, about Jesus yeah. comes from the Bible. For you to say the Bible is not important for me to understand, no, no, no. then the you're basically are you're contradicting yourself now. If, if, well, to be honest, if God is three or one... It's not in the Bible, three. One, that is matter. in the Bible. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It does. No, because look, it doesn't matter to me. I'll tell you what. If on the day of judgment you go to God and you yeah. tell him that God, yes, yeah. I believed all my life and I was convinced because people told me and my pastor told me and my minister told me yeah. that you were three in one and God is going to ask you on the day of judgment, please show me in the Bible where he says three in one. Yeah. What are you going to do that day? I don't think so, I have to do that. If I did, then I, I fucked up. Then you will be messed up. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Yes. That's don't you think it'll be, don't you think you're playing with salvation here? Yeah, I do. You're trying, you're basically trying to put yourself in a position where you are basically taking a huge risk yeah, I know. of, of, of messing about with your salvation. Yeah, no, no, it's blind belief. Yeah, what you're doing is blind belief yeah, exactly because you're going, you're going on something which is not in the Bible. No, you're no, going, no. really? You can show me in the Bible where God no, manifests as three persons? I just believe. That's all. In the end? Okay, so if you believe that it's not from the Bible, then what is it? You're a Muslim, right? Yes, I'm a Muslim. Yeah. So in the end, it's either you who's going to be right or me, because apparently we don't seem to agree. Yes. Yeah. And so the point it's is? just a bet. So you want to take a risk? Yeah. But you know what I'm, I'm actually telling you to read your Bible? Yes. I'm telling you to, based on your Bible, the Bible itself doesn't have any clear indication of the Trinity. Okay. This was a fourth century. Do you know it's a fourth century doctrine? It's not even in the Bible. It's a fourth century doctrine. Oh. The Athenian Creed, the, uh, the, Ch uh, the Chalcedonian Creed, these came in the fourth century. Yeah, but I don't 350, 325 years to 380 years after Jesus. Yes, I know. Yes? Yeah. So when Jesus was alive, he did not advocate the Trinity. When his disciples were alive, they did not advocate the Trinity. Paul himself did not advocate the Trinity. And you're saying it doesn't matter. I don't care. I mean, you're basically taking a huge gamble here. Yeah, I know. That's, that's fine. Okay. If you're happy with that, then that's fine. Yes, I'm, uh, actually, I'm pretty happy. It sounds like you're offended. 
Because he's not trying to down your religion. He's not trying to tell you your religion's false. No, 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 what he's, it sounds like it. What I'm trying to what I'm trying to explain is that he's not trying to offend your religion. What he's trying to explain to you is that's actually a message from God. Yeah, that's been corrupted. Yeah, and, and what he's trying to say, I believe, yeah. is that there's a third message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like for example, the Old Testament, New Testament. We're telling you the Quran, yeah. but the Quran is uncorrupted, and the New Testament is it has been changed by the hands of men. I understand. Possibly, I can, I can just understand just why, just clarifying. Yeah. Possibly by people who actually hated Christians at the time. Interesting video as always, and. I don't even know why the Trinity is brought up. If it's not in the Bible, so why bring it up? Also, the people that also follow the Trinity thing because they are following three gods. I mean, guys, someone is saying, my God and your God, that makes one God. So where is the third one coming from? Which doesn't make sense. Also, if Jesus is not God, he is said in these scriptures that he's not God. Um... Because at the end of the day, what we know is that Jesus will be seated by um, God's uh, right hand. So if Jesus is going to be seated by God's right hand, does it make him a God? No, it doesn't. It just makes him one of those people that were brought to earth to preach God's word. Also, just because Jesus was on earth doesn't mean that was God. That's just a human being he was using to preach his word. Can we... Can we all agree? We shouldn't be so, uh, we shouldn't be so ignorant. Everything is there. You want to believe the Trinity, but don't want to believe what's in the. I think this guy had some good points because he's saying you're not believing the what you're not believing what's in the Bible, but you want to believe something that's way out of the Bible, which doesn't make sense, guys. We have to check our lives. We have to be um. For going to be serious, that's why I always say read, 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 reading will open you up to all the knowledge that you never thought was out there you will learn so much by um reading otherwise let me get to the second part of this and i'll see you